Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 3. In the last episode, we came into this room and Nikolai showed up. Shot at Jill and then relieved his no- Bro. Uh, <laughs> relieved. Went and revealed his nefarious plan. Well, anyway, something killed him. We can only assume it was Nemesis. And we decided to move on anyway. Because, you know, can't hang around here forever. Warning. Proceeding with operation in frequency. Oh yeah, then we went into this room before the episode ended, and good old Nemesis showed up. Star. Yeah, there he is. Apparently she couldn't see him. And we have a boss battle on our hands. Whoa, watch out. Nemesis has mutated quite a bit. He's got all these chemicals and crap now. At least he's not carrying around his rocket launcher or anything anymore, but he's still wearing gloves and pants. And that is the big reveal. That is how we're supposed to fight Nemesis during this fight. We don't really have to go around shooting him a bunch of times. We can go and activate these acid things. So watch this. Okay, that didn't work quite as planned. Yeah, don't run into the acid, Jill. That's going to be bad. You can shoot him, like I'm doing there, or you can... Son of a bitch, get up. Or you can go and activate these acid things. Oh, wow, that's gotta hurt. Get up, what's your problem? <laughs> Making me look like an idiot. You can shoot these acid things with a pistol, shotgun, even your grenade launcher, whatever. And that will, uh... Blanket Nemesis with acid. Or you could just gun him down like that, wait till he's... Ah, shit. It's not freaking... It's auto-aiming to the stupid, uh... It's auto-aiming to the, the acid valves rather than Nemesis. So I'm hitting those instead of him. It's almost like a wasting ammo. Retarded. Come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. If you go over here, you'll find that Nemesis goes and follows you, so I'm gonna wait till these... There we go. There we go, that'll do it. I could have taken so much less damage here. Ah, stupid valve. Ah, I'm doing this so poorly, it's pathetic. I did a test run of this, like, right before I made this episode, and Right before I started recording, and I killed him without taking any damage. It's ridiculous. I'm just gonna do this the old fashioned way. And we'll blanket him with acid using the grenade rounds rather than. There, there, now he's dead. That's what I should have done to begin with instead of screwing around with the valves. Huh, there's a key card. Okay, what we are is we're in sort of like a garbage compactor or something like that. Does he have anything on him? No, not this time. This is sort of like a garbage compactor. The floor is going to open, and everything will be dropped into this big vat of acid. So we obviously don't want to be around for that. That's going to suck. Why do you need a key card to get out of this room, I wonder? You'd think anybody on the inside of this room should have a free access to get out at any time. Because after all, it is going to drop you into a vat of acid. Ah, oh, there we go. Down goes Nemesis. Blew off its arm, blew off its head. It's gotta be dead, right? Oh, of course it is. All personnel evacuate immediately. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Missile attacks are never a good thing. At least it doesn't have some sort of weird self-destruct sequence like all the other Resident Evil seem to. There's always more zombies. Always more zombies. These ones are naked. I imagine the naked zombies were some of the test subjects that were captured 
by path where passerby so that son of a bitch is a lot more of them than I thought. <laughs> Time to quit screwing around. I have plenty of shotgun shells. I oh wow, she took a lot of damage there. I have plenty of shotgun shells and plenty of all types of ammo now because I went and I cashed in all of my uh, all of the all of the gunpowders that I had accumulated during the game. I used some during the beginning of the game just to like demonstrate how it worked, but then I went off camera, went and traded them all in. Now I got a whole lot of ammo. This isn't even all the stuff that I have right now. Ah, what the hell. So their uniform animations look kind of weird. Ah, green herbs. Exactly what I needed. I think I have more than enough ammo I'm carrying around with me at the moment to uh, get me through the end of the game without having to worry about running out of stuff. In fact, I, should, I don't even think I need to be carrying around the pistol anymore. That seems like uh, an unnecessary thing there. Jill! Jill, where are you? Carlos? If you can hear this transmission, respond immediately. What if I want to wait? I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! Well, I know I'm gonna survive this. I don't know about you. Uh, alright. Apparently Warning. this kind of thing Missile exists. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Yeah, we all knew about the missile attack. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, what the hell? What if I wanted to go back that way? Well, anyway, we got a missile attack coming in, and I'm going to use this chance to end the episode. So, thanks for watching. Come back for the next one, and it will be the final episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 3.